What's up, Scrollgers? This is the last pre-waypoint installment of Scrolls Top 5 Plays of the Week. Next time, you'll likely be seeing all sorts of new combos and new scrolls with the waypoints update. Remember to send your top plays to nerptheninja at gmail.com to be featured in the series and win some extra gold. Without further ado, here are the Top 5 Scrolls Plays of the Week. At number 5 on the countdown is a matchup on the test server between myself and Lars Von Central. He has two big Relentless units protected by a Wings Warder and they are threatening my units. I'm playing Blinky's Ranged Lobber deck, link to his deck in the description below. I'm facing a force of terrifying units. I pull out a Destroyer and an Iron Whip for a hasted 4 damage attacking 3 of Lars' units. I use Tool Initiate's ability to give the Destroyer 5 attack to destroy the 3 units, and use the other Tool Initiate to finish the board clear by killing the Wings Warder. I kept on using the Initiate's ability on the Oculus Cannon, so they would attack every turn and be prepared for a big play like this. Lar sees the impending board clear and surrenders. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see the carnage. At number 4 on the countdown is a match between Anti-Rad and Color Plant. Anti-Rad moves his menacing Great Wolves down to eat their prey the following turn. Without a Rally or a God Hand to deal with those beasts, Color Plant needed to draw something else. The old Triple Stag Heart came to the rescue to decimate Anti-Rad's board. At number 3 in the countdown is a play by Card Ninja vs Maester. Although Card Ninja has a lot of units, they are mostly useless husks. A Curse Monger and Harvester is very menacing, especially because even if Card Ninja Necrogedons, he can't destroy the Harvester. Card Ninja instead plays a Harvester of his own, and then a Grizzly Graph, killing 5, I guess now useful husks, to clear Maester's board. Grizzly Graph is something really awesome that you just don't see every day. Let's take a moment to look at this board. Blinky has absolutely nothing on his side, and Flayer has an 8-8 Great Wolf along with some other units. You would assume you lost the game if you lose control of the board to growth on round 18. Let's just see what happens. Starting the comeback is a simple Stormrunner Bombard, which destroys a wolf and weakens that Great Wolf down to 6 health to make it vulnerable to a violent dispersal the coming turns. Blinky just decides to get rid of it right away, but now he has a vulnerable Stormrunner. Flare continues to put down more units on the board, and it's even more of a threat to Blinky, and now he might get overwhelmed. Blinky places another Stormrunner to protect the other Stormrunner. He's planning out his turns ahead to see his ways to win this game. Blinky plays a Bombard with Hired Smuggler and a Desperation to destroy that top row. Flare places a big threat in that Great Wolf down, and Blinky has no answer just yet, just using a Gravelock Elder for protection. More wolves, and Blinky is in trouble. He uses Machinated to get rid of one, and then uses a Dust Runner and an Oculus Cannon to protect that Storm Runner. This is probably Flair's last chance to put enough units on the board for a big god hand play the following turn and try to come back. So he gets down like another wolf and a uh, mystic, but unfortunately for him, Blinky is able to complete the amazing impressive comeback and almost clear his board. I'm not sure if anybody in Scrolls besides Blinky would be able to come up to cap off this amazing comeback. I was very impressed with how each of these turns looked like it was perfectly played. So well played, Blinky. Here we are, the top scrolls play of the week. Lahopa takes the honors in a Decay vs Decay match vs Joyful Rogue. Lahopa has nothing on the board and Joyful Rogue is so close to winning. Another Necrogeddon or Darkling will seal Lahopa's fate. 
Lahopa has no direct idol damage in his deck, no Darklings or Watchers, so he needs to come up with something else to win this game. Every turn Lahopa crosses his fingers, because there's a variety of cards that Drovaro can play to win the game, with a 1 health idol sitting down there. Lahopa figures his only chance at winning is to just keep filling up the board, so he puts more units down and hopes for a breakthrough. Next turn looks to be it for Lahopa, because all of Joyful Rogue's creatures are attacking to easily ping down the idols. Lahopa, if he can't win this turn, it's going to be over. Lahopa sacrifices resources and plays a Rot Eater, then a Harvester, and, you know it, a Grizzly Graft, destroying 5 creatures, giving 13 attack, and having enough damage to sweep that row up and destroy the 2 health idol. That was unexpected and amazing. Congratulations to Lahopa for having this awesome play and being the top play of the week. He'll be receiving 1,000 gold. Remember to send your plays to nerfthinage at gmail.com. Comment below if you like the order, what was your favorite play of these five plays? And get ready for waypoints, everybody. So thank you for watching, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.